Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and after waiting for a couple of minutes, I was able to log into my Salesforce account. All I tried to do was removing the last section from the URL and refreshing the page. It worked after a few attempts. So I'm assuming you are also logged in to your Salesforce account. So the first thing that we need to do is we'll go over to the setup and we will enable the chat. This is a very crucial step because we are using Einstein bot in order to have this Einstein bot working we need to enable the chat so the first thing is we'll go over to quick find and we will enter chat and uh, if you scroll down you have the under the service you have chat settings so click on the chat settings here and uh, then you can see I have already enabled the chat so click on this enable chat and then hit the save once you have done this part all you need to do is leave everything as it is. All you need to do is just enable this particular chat. And then the second thing is we will go over to Einstein bot here. And now we will enable the Einstein bot also. You can see here if yours would be off. So all you have to do is turn back on. Okay. So we are going to enable it. And once you enable this, you will be able to create a brand new bot. Now from the next tutorial, we will actually start working on this bot. Let me give you a quick overview of what this bot will look like. So in this bot, we are going to have two menu options. One is to create a new case. Okay. And uh, it will ask you for its your first name, last name, company name, phone number, everything. What is the description of the case? And then finally, the bot will create a new case for you. And the second one is to check your case status here. In this case, what will happen is when you click on this menu option, bot is going to ask you for your case number. And then finally, it's going to tell you the case status. So these are the two things we will be able to accomplish using the bot. And if that's all, then we can end the chat. And also, if these are not the questions which somebody is looking for, you can also transfer to an agent. So what we will do next is we will also set up an omni channel and then we will have a live agent sitting in inside of our Salesforce. And then we will see our chat is able to communicate with our live agent. So we are going to see all of that from the next tutorials. So stay tuned for it. Thank you very much.